<sighs> yeah. It is that time. We got a teaser trailer. Another one, but this is actually having news of a WWE 2K22 say official features. And I've already seen this. So this video isn't, it's not really going to be a reaction. It's going to be me talking about what we got in the trailer and what this can mean for the game and the whole, I guess, wrestling franchise. I don't know. But let's, let's get into it. Oh, this is a lot of bit. So apparently they didn't have, they didn't wait till January to update the shit because apparently it got leaked. Somebody signed, or I don't even remember. I don't even think it was a content creator. I think it was something else. I don't remember. They signed the ED NDA and then they leaked it. So 2K was like, fuck it. We're going today. Fuck it. Since the niggas leaking shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so let's, let's see. Let's see what they got. You know what I'm saying? All right. First here, we got Goldberg. Now, you can't really see from this picture where I paused it at, but this is an updated model. He got the gray hairs. So you see it in, again in the trailer. Gold, Goldberg models, it, it look great. Even though by the trailer, you could tell it's not, oh, they didn't show it right here, but it's, even though it's an updated Goldberg, it's his WCW trunks. It's not his, you know what I'm saying? His updated attire. And then boom, right here. Look what we got here. We got the GOAT, Jeff Hardy. And Kofi Kingston, a legend, you feel me? Part of the New Day. And uh, they strike it, as you can see, and it says it's got a new engine, a whole engine. We got Ricochet in the cut, you know what I'm saying? It said they got a whole new engine. As you can see from the, the, the graphics alone, Goldberg, the, the sparkles from the fireworks, it's supposed to be a whole new everything. So everything's supposed to look pretty. So the presentation so far, I like what I see. Redesign gameplay engine, boom. All right. So let's get back to this. All right, so the strikes. It's a redesign gameplay engine. So far from all the moves I've seen, I feel like I haven't seen nothing new, but that's fine. I know it's gonna be new shit in there, but let's talk about these models, you feel me? Uh, we saw this Kofi model at uh, when they first released the trailer for SummerSlam, you feel me? But then this Jeff Hardy model. I like this Jeff Hardy model. It looks way better, you feel me? But my concerns is number one, this is an old ass attire. If I'm not mistaken, this is the Jeff Hardy attire when he went against Randy Orton in the Hell in a Cell. That was years ago. That was before even, that was probably when 2K20 came out or before 2K20 came out. I don't even know. And y'all gonna add this old attire. It's cool though, cause I fuck with the attire. It's a dope attire. But also another concern. Oh, I like, hold up, hold up, hold up. We gonna, I got it paused, right? Y'all see his eyelids. Jeff Hardy got the paint over his eyes to make it look like when he got, got his eyes closed, his eyes are still open. They got that in the game. I like that attention to detail, you feel me? I fucks with that heavy son. And the tattoos look better, as right? you can see on Kofi, arm in his back and shit, you feel me? I, like, I really see the sweat. The referee is even sweating. Damn, it must be hot as shit in that arena. That they changed, were able to change the face paint for Jeff Hardy, you feel me? Because that was a big thing. Like, we was hyped that Jeff Hardy got face paint in 2K20. But you couldn't even change the face paint or the color of it. It was so annoying, and it limited Jeff Hardy to like his attire you feel me? you basically only wanted to go shirtless jeff hardy if you was to get a different jeff hardy or a glitchy looking weird one with different face paint i don't know so yeah i just hope we change the face paint colors you know what i'm saying gameplay looks good though the graphics look good though oh look, that, that shit was quick as shit we just saw montez and Big E right there but y'all we got that new controls right here and i'm gonna be honest this is a huge fucking l this shit is very stupid and confusing because you got nothing to look, look, look for years grapple since like since like day 12 grapple has been the a button and b has been irish whip x has been attack you feel me y has been whatever finisher reverse whatever but now b is the just grapple a is a heavy attack and x is a light attack and y is still the reverse but now we hold y to block i don't even get that why why why, why they got all these different types of uh, 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 I mean, they had it in the old wrestling games, but why are you making the controls more confusing? You're making this more confusing for people, especially people that there's a lot of people who love wrestling who has disabilities. Disabilities. How the fuck they gonna do it? Look, look, look at the bottom left. RTA for finisher. RTX signature. RTY payback. Like why? Why all these different? Why are you combining all these shits? This shit is stupid. How is somebody gonna even remember this? You feel me? And then on top of that, it say run. All right, so run is still LT, right? What happens if you got a running finisher? You tell me you got whole both back buttons. And then tap A or X. That man, I don't know about that, G. I don't know how I feel about that. That seems a little bit too much. And especially with reaction timing. You know what I'm saying? 
you gotta press extra buttons and shit. I don't know. And then look, RB dodge and climb. What is that? Why are we? I don't know. Like I said, I gotta see it. You feel me? I just right now, like bro, the game, like they making the like nobody liked the controls in 2K20. That was one 2K20. It was a mess overall, regardless. But the controls were also a big thing because it was stupid. But it's still stupid, as you can see. It got stupider. And look at the pin button. The pin is just the right stick. Damn. What? How do you even Irish whip? So it's gonna be like what? It's like gonna be like here comes the pain when you grapple a nigga. Then you tap probably LT for run to an Irish whip. It's like I don't know. I'm just not fucking with these controls. Not one bit, my G. Not one bit. Let's continue, please. Montez. Ah, oh, hold on. I wanna get a. I wanna get a good look at Big E and Montez because I like their models. They go by so quick. Hold up. Hold up. All right, let's see what we got here. We got Biggie and Montez. You feel me? I'm liking the gear. I'm liking the models. This is definitely the best models. You feel me? Biggie, I feel like you always messed up Biggie's models. Montez's models has always been hard in the wrestling game since he's been in it since like 2K19. But it, they got him so much better. You know what I'm saying? And just how this game look like. Look at the camera. How y'all feel about the camera angle being this up close up into the ropes? You feel me? How y'all look? I hope, you, I hope they let you change it. You feel me? Because... I don't know. I want to see everything around me on the outside. To be honest, I want to see the whole. I don't. I just don't want to focus on the, for that. For us, just to zoom in and focus on the wrestlers like that. The gameplay gotta be impeccable. The the, the damage like 2K19 when you keep striking niggas and they bruise up. That wasn't in there in 2K20 or when face paint removed. We also see that with Kofi Kingston attacking Jeff Hardy. We didn't see no face paints removing, so we don't know if that's gonna be back. But it was a certain shit like that. And if you could add on to that, would make. This worth it, but I don't like this camera zoomed in like that, honestly. Hold up. Let's go for it. Look, Montez going for a strike right here. Is that it? Oh, look, look. Ah, I can't fucking get it. It's too quick. But as you can see right there, uh, I don't know if you saw. We're going to try one more time. Big E dodged the punch. I guess that the new dodge mechanic, it looked like Fight Night a little bit. The way Big E just bobbed and weaved that, that right hand from Montez right there. Can we please look back at that? Look, ah, he missed it again. But, bruh. So, and also, if you look in the UI, you feel me? I don't know if there's reversal bars. Because you're going to see them bars that is under the, like, the health bars and names of Biggie and Montez. Those aren't reversal bars. Those are something to, for your signature or finisher. I don't know if it's going to be, like, awesome. Matter of fact, we're going to get into that when we get to that part. Stunning graphics. Okay, hold up. Edge. The Radar R Superstar Edge. This is the best Edge has ever looked at any video game. Edge has always gotten dirty, done dirty for the most part in, in wrestling video games when it comes to his model, I feel like. Especially since WWE 12. Or, or Smackdown Resort 2011, you know what I'm saying? But this is a great model, bro, and I just can't wait. And as you can see, with the T-shirts from the crowd in the back, it got a Nia Jax shirt. So, I mean, Nia Jax, she just got released, so she definitely going to be in the game. She's definitely not going anywhere else. But we, we're going to get to un to, 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 to release superstars still being in this game eventually in this video. Hold up. We got Bailey, a brand new model for Bailey. Looks amazing. I'm going to be honest, though, because this tends to happen with WWE games. They they kind they're always outdated with shit. They do have an updated uh entrance in arena for the first time ever, but I feel like by the time we see Bailey actually come back to TV, she's gonna be a face, whether we like it or not. You know what I'm saying? If she on SmackDown, she may be a heel again. But if Bailey is going to Raw, where Becky's Raw Women's Champion, Bailey might Bailey either might be a face or they might make Becky a face because people still love Becky a lot right now. And I don't, I don't know, but I honestly like even though this is a dope model, this is the best Bailey has looked. Bailey might not even look like this by the time the game come out. Is all I'm going to say. You know what I'm saying? Mercy pre the presentation looks amazing. Like, look at, look. You know what I'm saying? That's the one thing I say. The lighting. You know what I'm saying? Now, as you see right here, we got Bobby Lashley versus Chad Gable. Bobby going for that Dominator. You feel me? As you can see, the pen shit. They got all arrows. with. So, would you? can you at least do, if I was to, like, put the right stick up and, and pin after the Dominator, will I get a different pinning animation than right stick down and right stick left? If that's the case, I, I, I will fuck with that idea of having pin man and right stick. Other than that, it seems stupid to me. But as you can see in the bottom left, Bobby has a times one on his UI, right? And I, that yellow meter, I don't know if that's like, you know, you attack niggas and your shit go up and that's how you get your finisher. But let's see. Hold up. We're going to have to back that up one more again. We we'll have to back that up one more again. When when Chad Gable got hit with that damn Dominator, he got the blue. Hold up. Oh, he already had the blue shirts the whole time in the bottom right. I'm just not looking at that. So, yeah, I don't think that's reversal bars. I think they took out reversal bars, especially since they're actually dodging and shit. I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. 
And of course, I got the audio turned down right now, but the GOAT, Rey Mysterio, the smallest GOAT of all time, you feel me? Um, this man is getting a showcase mode. And I usually don't play show, as you can see, we got the G my GM, we got the GMO back, y'all, we're gonna get to that, you feel me, we got the GMO back finally after all these years, since the first time since SmackDown vs. Raw 2008, GM mode is now back, but y'all, yeah, with the sh uh, showcase mode with Rey Mysterio, you feel me, I never play showcase mode, but Rey being the showcase shit, if they go back to WCW, ECW with it, I'm gonna have to play that shit, and so I, I don't like the uh, accelerator pack every time I get the game, so I already have everybody in lock, but I might do it just for y'all for content, but we got the GM mode popping off, as you can see, look at the new UI, the UI look dope, I fuck with the UI, you feel me, and this is the draft, the Smackdown picks Roman with the first pick, and as you can see by the, like, little green red faces, Roman's a heel, that would be the red shit, and the green would be the faces, so Becky's a face, Drew a face, Oscar a face, and Finn is a heel, so I don't know what, at the time, like, this footage that they're getting, or the roles, or whatever, I don't know if they're editing it as it goes, or the game come out and Finn is going to be a heel. Like, I don't know if it was made when Finn was a heel and Becky was a face. Because that's definitely not the case now. But, yeah, as you can see, they got classes, too. They got specialist, bruiser, fighter. Oh, what happened to powerhouse high flyers? I mean, they still got that, as you see, what we're going to see with the My Career shit. But I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I mean, it looked dope. I just hope, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't know. Especially since we got we got Universe and GMO at the same, in the same fucking game. I honestly don't know. They're so similar to each other. But you see they got the popularity back in 65 seems to be the highest because Drew and Roman got the same amount of popularity as only 65. That I feel like popularity should be the same thing with overall, honestly. You know what I'm saying? It should be in the 90s, 80s. You know what I'm saying? But let's continue on. See, look. This is how I the menu for gym mode looks. So I don't know if we can only do three matches. If we can only do three matches, that sucks. You know what I'm saying? And two promos, that sucks. We gotta be able to do more than that. Or at least do five matches. You know what I'm saying? Or four matches, one promo. It's just we got them five slots right there. You know what I'm saying? And we can do whatever with those. But you see, we got Bianca in the game. We got Tyler Bates still in the game. Tamina. We got, we already saw Tez earlier. Biggie. We got Roman, of course. Of course. Roman model looks amazing in this game. And they also, as you realize, they got the, the actual superstar pictures as the renders and not the actual in-game models as the renders if y'all realize that as well they're going back to just the pictures how do y'all feel about that i don't know how i feel about it because i mean it looks dope but i can understand from like a gameplay like especially with created niggas and we was to have a screenshot or something of the matchup it wouldn't look right you know what I'm saying? i will say that but that's about it and also in the mid card you see samoa joe still in the game he, despite him getting released he, he's the only one that I, I don't i don't i could be wrong the one that got released and came back especially since you know becoming nxt championship and getting injured and whatnot but he's going against one member of legato del fantasma joe queen is, is his name what is his name joe quinn what is it joe quinn phoenix is that his name that's not his name what is, well whatever regardless you feel me this man, Joe Quinn, is in the game, so that means Legato Del Fantasma could be in the game. So, Raul Mendoza and even Santos Escobar. You feel me? That, that That's fire for them niggas to be in the game. I want to play as Legato Del Fantasma. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I would love to have a match set up. Santan, Santos Escobar versus Roman Reigns. That would be fire as shit. Joe Quinn Wild. I'm sorry. His name is Joe Quinn Wild. I said Phoenix. That is an actor. All right. Let's go on with the next shit. All right, oh, 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 All right, as you can see from the GMO, we got a budget in the top right. $69,000 is the budget for the show. Week one in the Nameless fans is a million in attendance. Oh, that was a million in attendance. That can't be right. That can't be attendance. But it's rankings and all, so I wonder what the difference would be. But as you can see, matches, certain matches going to cost. So, like, that TLC match we saw between Bianca and Tamina on the ship, that's going to be, like, $500. That's how GMO rolled. I like that. You feel me? And they add in different shit. I see they got show logistics. Power cards, journal ratings. I fucks with it. I hope they still got the news and shit so we can compare Raw and SmackDown and see who's winning and shit. That was always dope to me in GMO. But like I said, GMO though, bring all these after all these years bringing it back. I don't want it to just be a whole bunch of matches and then doing a little GM number shit. You know, I want to see some cutscenes. You know what I'm saying? I wanna see some crazy shit. But also we still got universe mode, so I honestly don't know how that would work. You feel me? And as you can see, it say fatigue very low. I don't know what that means. I don't that's interesting. Roman, look at look at that Roman model, bruh. 
Now, I do feel like they still could have done better. I ain't gonna care, especially with the hair. I feel like the, that's the main problem for most, for most shit is the hair. But, you know, it's not a bad model. This is definitely the best Roman Reigns has looked in a video game. You feel me? Straight like that. Like, this is a great model. The graphics in this game look dope. I can't wait to hop on this bitch, bro. Yeah, the head of the table shirt. Oh, hold up. That shit just say my faction? Look. All right, y'all, so this is the My Faction, you feel me? So there's a mode, apparently, where you can make your own faction. And, and I don't I don't know if it's a story mode or you're just upgrading a group of niggas at once. I don't really get, you know what I'm saying, the whole thing with the faction mode. But it, it got four player. This Now, if I'm not mistaken, these are the same. Hold up, we're going to have to back up a little bit. These are the same four player animations that we currently got in the current games. Look, it said My Faction, right? I don't know what that do. Uh, uh, I, I, at the same time, my reaction timing. All right, we got a different group of niggas now. The first group of niggas it looked like was Apollo Crews, you know what I'm saying, Drew McIntyre, MVP, and The Miz. This one is Kevin Owens and Dominic Mysterio, who's officially in the game. Look like he got a great model as well, you feel me? Dolph in the background and Rey Mysterio. Uh, I can't even, yo, I suck at this, bro. <laughs> Uh, I suck, bro. I, I suck. I can't fucking pause it right. My rise. Ah, we got to pause it right right here. I couldn't. Of course, I missed it. Y'all, all right. So, y'all don't see what's going on here. All right. We're going to have to start, start that shit back. My rise is basically the new season mode, the my career mode. You feel me? And from the looks of it, Seth Rollins, he looked like he got some disciples with him. You feel me? Oh, we all the way back here. Seth Rollins, he got Austin Theory with him because Austin Theory, that's what he had his disciple gear on. That's one thing I don't like about WWE today. And as you, we got, all right, this is a good enough pause. All right, is that they don't like the knowledge. I mean, they might acknowledge it. Austin Theory is now on the Survivor Series team, you feel me? He on the same team with Seth again since being a disciple and forgotten about, who knows? But you got Seth, Austin Theory, Ali trying to jump your my player and a new backstage area looks that looks dope. That gives me hope. Is it new backstage areas? That's awesome if it is. But as you can see in the corner, and not even the corner, on the side to the left. And we I, I didn't get a good picture of it. But from the gear from the other screenshots I did see, that is Buddy Murphy. Buddy Murphy is still in this game. So a lot of release niggas may still be in this game. So Kevin Owens, even though he might not be in the WWE by the time, even though we just saw him in the trailer, he might, he most likely gonna still be in this game. So if Buddy Murphy's still in this game, and he might, it's a good thing he didn't go to AEW. Shit. You know, he in New Japan doing good things. You know, had a great match with Okada, you feel me? But he is still in this game. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to play as Buddy Murphy, bro. Buddy Murphy is dope. Buddy Murphy's going to get hella love because by the time this game come out, Buddy Murphy is going to get even bigger around the world, having great matches with other legends outside of WWE and get his name up. And niggas going to start using Buddy Murphy in the game. Facts. You feel me? I'm letting you know that right now. But that's just so dope that Buddy's in the game. So that got me hell. Is Alistair still in the game? If Alistair Black is still in this game, bro. If Buddy Murphy is still in this game, that means Keith Lee carrying Cross may still be in this game. If they still in this game, I ain't gonna lie. I'll be excited. I'll be excited because I want to play as them. I think it sucks because them you know, a lot of niggas that got released, especially from NXT, who are dope as hell, who I want to play with in the game, you who know, I haven't been able to play as a, a real version of them on a created superstar. Then on top of that, motherfucking. I, the only ver version I could play as them was in 2K20, and that shit is broken. It's like, fuck, but now they're going to be in 2K22 still, despite being released. All right. That's crazy. Look, Seth throwing off. Hold up. We got to back that. I don't want to back it up again. Let's actually pause it. No, right, I got to back it up again. Universe mode. Hold up. Bro, this is what happens when you try to do this shit from your Xbox. That's actually Xbox YouTube shit. They weird. They weird with the shit. I got to pause it. Ah, no. Pause the shit. Pause the fucking shit. Like I said, are right, you see Ali falling? Seth got a new model of hair. I know we still on this, but I'm just I'm hype off this backstage. We have we're gonna get a new backstage uh, area to fight in. I love that. Look, look at Seth's hair. Why is it? I mean, I, I mean, I, I don't know. They always mess up Seth model. Ah, I did it again! I did it again! Fuck again! This is this is annoying. This this anal this analyzation video should not be this long. All right, thank you. This is the only shot I can't even get. I can't. I can't even get the eye because the hair and the shit. But y'all, all right. So we got new a uh, new model of Shayna Baszler. Her model before looked dope, but now she looks even better. But now, making their video game debuts, we have former NXT Women Champion Raquel Gonzalez. I'm hype as hell that she's in this game plan. We even got NXT UK former Women's Champion Kaylee Ray in this bitch. What? 
that is dope, bro. And that got that gave me hope. If Kaylee Ray and this bitch, and they always be they always be disrespecting the ladies when it comes to the video games, having them get in the game late as shit. You know what I'm saying? Walter gotta be in this bitch. Imperium gotta be in this bitch. If Kaylee Ray in it, right? If they got NXT UK, even though Kaylee Ray has came up to the motherfucking, she came up to the uh, NXT regular NXT. You know what I'm saying? Since leaving UK, but even still, it's just like it's dope. You feel me? And that, that we got these three NXT former women champions. Jumping your NXT, not your NXT, your created woman, yeah, created woman superstar. You still have created woman superstar uh, story mode with a male. It looks like it's separate, but y'all, we're on a universe mode. This is the most important mode to me. You feel me? Honestly, they took out universe mode. I probably wouldn't buy this game. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I mean, they got a lot of different modes, so I honestly, I probably would have still bought it because they have different modes. But with these different modes, they still got universe mode. We kept it, but it's a look. It look. It's, 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 I don't. We really don't got a lot of information on universe mode, but it looks very different. It looks very different. Not only the UI, it got. They show you your record, and apparently, you. Matter of fact, let me let me unplay it. Triple H pops up and say let's get into action now that your superstar has been selected select next match to jump into the show and into aj styles match good luck i don't know that i don't know what i mean i don't know what i mean um is universe mode is that like a my career universe mode officially for everybody Cause why do we have to select a superstar before going to the universe? I don't like that stupid bullshit where y'all force us to do more stupid shit we don't want to do. It's a fucking wrestling game. We want to be free as fuck. You feel me? So I mean, I'm, I'm, let me let me slow down my words. I don't want to be angry. You know what I'm saying? Cause I could be wrong. You know, cause universe mode could be fire even though if we can only control one nigga per show with some crazy retarded option like that. If we get cutscenes every time, it may be worth it. Who knows? But I don't know, bro. I don't want to do no universe mode with no exhibition matches. I'm telling you that right now. You know what I'm saying? But apparently you can select a superstar before going to the universe mode. Triple H pops up for some reason. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully, you know what I'm saying? That means Triple H or somebody, we can have GMs in universe mode. We can have GMs? That would be dope. You feel me? But shout out Triple H. You feel me? Look at this, y'all. They got the different fighting styles. The different. This is for the my player. It always been like they always switch it up. You feel me? But uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I never really. I try to post my 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 career video for y'all videos for y'all, but you know, it just never work out. I mean, I never really play the my. I don't care for that shit that much. I get the accelerator pack. I get everything unlocked already. We get straight into the create the creativism. Is that even a word? The creativism. You know what I'm saying? So the creativity. So yeah, that's that's all I that's all I be doing. But I, one thing I do like though, when it comes, not only can you actually create a fat nigga, for I feel like the past few years you cannot actually create fat people in this game. When you try to create them, they their stomach be a little thick, but they won't be fat. Like this is an actual obese person. Like not to be rude, but I'm just saying I'm hyped. You can actually create obese people. That's all I'm saying. You couldn't do that before. So that's what I'm saying. The freedom, the freedom. You know what I'm saying? To create fat people. I like that. And then it said community creations at the bottom. So you can probably download a nigga straight from the community creations as your mind player. Which is dope. I don't think you were able to do that. Probably since I don't know. I remember 2K16, you could use any created nigga. Like you could use a custom superstar attire and play as him in my career type shit. You know what I'm saying? But you haven't been able to do that in a while. So back since we're back to getting to that, you know what I'm saying? That freedom. I like that. You know what I'm saying? And then, okay, we just saw Roman hit a jackhammer for some reason on Drew McIntyre. And I don't know why, because Roman, that we should have saw a Superman punch. We need to see a different Superman punch. That's probably why. They probably either don't have a good Superman punch animation, or they got the same one. And they only, I don't know. I, like, you had Goldberg in the trailer, but you have Roman do a jackhammer. That don't make no damn sense. And you're actually going to show Goldberg once again after I unpause it. Which don't make no deal. I should have showed Roman doing a spear or a jackhammer. No, I mean, I said a spear or a jack. A spear or a Superman punch. You feel me? Like, uh, they got the daddy live shit in the, in the bottom right, too. Okay. Also, I want to point out that I believe this is an NXT arena. What a, oh, my. No, 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 no. I just want to pause it. 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 Ah, oh, Drew. Drew. His his scan his hair looks a little weird his hairline specifically like why why does his cranium and his hair like that it's not like that at all in real life it looks too weird but 
this is the NXT arena, and I fucks with that. You tell by the giant X that NXT takeover shit. You feel me? I don't. I, I don't know. They most likely probably won't have NXT 2.0. Most likely, but they got the last black and gold era. I guess the CWC era of NXT arena, and I fucks with that heavy. You know what I'm saying? That's dope as hell. And then look, as you can see right here, you can obviously see the gold, the gray hairs from Goldberg, but this is obviously not his, this is WCW gear, not his updated gear, but Goldberg's models look great, you know what I'm saying, there's a certain way how I run shit with my universe mode, and they, you know what I'm saying, and a lot of shit, I don't really tie in IRL, simply because it's certain shit you can't do in this game that wrestlers do in real life, like Orange Cassidy, for example, Orange Cassidy is hot as hell right now for the shit he does in real life. But if I try to put Orange Cassidy in the game and have him hot as hell, it just doesn't seem right because you can't do what Orange Cassidy do in the game. So it comes to the little shit like the look, the feel, just how I feel like, you know what I'm saying? So the fact that how Goldberg looks right here, this nigga's going to be in my universe mode. This nigga might be dominating shit. He might he might come back. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I like this model. It make me want to use Goldberg a lot. You feel me? It's all a nigga going to say. But I think that's the end of the video, right? That's it. It hits different, bro. We talked about everything, bro. Start more details coming next year. You know what I'm saying? In another month and some weeks. You know what I'm saying? And again, come out in another few months. You know, I mean, we'll see. I, I I guarantee by the time more details come, more niggas are gonna get released, and we're gonna have more probably. I, I don't want to say AEW superstars in the game, but bro, I don't know. It's like if if Buddy's in the game, Buddy's probably only in the game because he's in the story mode. That's that's probably the only reason. You know what I'm saying? They probably release other... I don't know. I don't know. But I do know all these releases are definitely messing up 2K's work in progress. Which is why it got pushed back all the way to March. And not then come out now. You know what I'm saying? I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. Y'all might get a double upload, man. Y'all might not get any universe mode uh, gameplay today. Because I'm posting this and I'm going to be posting... And this video wasn't even supposed to be that fucking long. And I'm posting... I'm posting to something else. You feel me? Me. Hope you guys enjoyed it, man. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See so if you forget, share with your friends. Hit the thumbs up button. You feel me? Hope everybody have a blessed day. Peace.